What's going on guys? I'm making this video today because I had an outbreak of this red slime algae in my tank. So I did some research and I guess it's not really an algae, it's a bacteria. Um, so I went online and purchased this red slime stain remover by Ultralife Reef Products. And I'm going to show you these before pictures and then I dosed it and we'll just look at a, a short video of what it looks like afterwards. Here's the product that I ordered, the Ultralife Reef Products. I'll open it up and show you guys kind of how it works here. It was like 10 bucks or 12 bucks left on Amazon. You get this little vial with this yellow salt, red slime, stain remover. My understanding is they call it stain remover because um, they're not allowed to call it a herbicide or a pesticide or whatever. So, and then it comes with this little guy and it's one of these scoops for every 15 gallons in your tank. Now remember when you put the scoops in, like I've got, this is a 60 gallon fish tank, but I didn't put in enough for 60 gallons because the displacement of the sand and stone and the uh, mangroves and stuff so you can see now uh, compared to the before pictures uh, it's been three days the reds turning more like a brownish color and it appears to be killing it off I'm gonna let it sit for a couple more days and try and clean everything up maybe vacuum it do a big water change and uh, decide if I think I need to do another dose, but I just, once it started, it got out of control. It doesn't appear to be negatively affecting my mangrove trees that I've got growing in the back here. I did shut off my protein skimmer. I think the instructions said you could leave it on, but I was worried about it causing it to bubble over the top and flood my floor and stuff. Um, the fish are acting okay. The research I did said to make sure you add as much oxygen beforehand as possible So I ran this bubble and just put it by my power head to make sure that the fish don't start acting funny But as far as I can see it appears to be working well So here are some side-by-side -side photos you're gonna see before and after there's a picture of my power head before and after and some of the other spots in the tank But hopefully that's helpful to you guys. I know when I did some research I couldn't find a whole lot that showed it uh, working positively. Some people said they had some issues with some fish. I didn't have any. Now, this is a fish-only tank, so I didn't have to worry about the corals. Um, I've been keeping an eye on the mangroves, but no big risks really for me, no no negative effects. So, uh, appreciate you watching. Check out, I've got another video on the page that's a little older. I think I'm going to get back into making some more videos. So, if you guys like what you saw, just click like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see if we can get some more content up for you. Thank you.